The North Central men's indoor track and field team has had two constants over the last several decades, winning and the coaching combination of Al Carius and Frank Gramoroso. The former continued this year as five individual titles helped the Cardinals capture their 20th College Conference of Illinois and Wisconsin title in 21 attempts. However, this will be the last success for the team with Gramoroso at the helm as he recently announced he is joining Carius in retirement. I'm going to be 69, so I am slowing down a little bit. But uh, no, it's it's a new team every year. You know, even with the upperclassmen, it's still a new team. And they really came through for the indoor conference. I mean, we had six or seven of our top distance runners uh, out. Uh, you know, even Janko who was in a boot for three weeks, and he still came back to win the indoor high jump. Janka being fifth year senior Nick Janka, who, yes, competed in the high jump with an injured foot and won anyway with a leap of 1.99 meters. It just reminds me of what I could be uh, capable of if I really, really go back to my old ways and dig deep, uh, which I plan to do for this outdoor season, you know what I mean? If I could just do it not 100%, it reminds me who I really could be if I put my mind to it. But Janka wasn't the only one to claim a conference title despite a significant injury recovery. Arguably more impressive was the win by Jamari Spivery in the 55 meter dash, who set a new program record of 6.36 seconds at conference and went on to finish fifth in the 60 meter dash at nationals. It means a big thing for me because uh, coming off a scary injury I had in 2019, not being able to walk, uh, being temporarily paralyzed for a couple months, that's a big thing for me to be able to go out there and compete at the highest level with some amazing athletes and be able to showcase my talent as a, as a, as a top sprinter. It was great to have him go into the meet being 16th in the country and then making it to the finals and then getting fifth. You know, it's a, a great accomplishment and he's worked very hard and he really competed and it's great to springboard that into the outdoor season. While he didn't recover from an injury, Brian Armstrong was yet another Cardinal to do something incredibly impressive this indoor season. Win the heptathlon in his first year competing in the event. I'd always been sprinter jumper type in high school, so I decided to just kind of go out and try it and see what would happen. It was definitely a unique uh, learning experience because I kind of had to start over from scratch. Armstrong's experience is a good metaphor for the team. He does a little bit of everything, and excellence in all areas is required to succeed. Because most track and field athletes have a specific discipline, the physically small environment of an indoor track meet provides a boost as teammates are able to easily support one another. Well, I would say it's a very positive one uh, because everyone's kind of welcoming, uh, willing to kind of pull in. They know I'm not as experienced with uh, other people uh, in their own respective events. In the, in the indoor space with all the, all the fans in one spot, all your team crowd around and watch you, the way everybody gets behind each other, that's the most exciting feeling. So every time we in practice, we kind of, you know, we run with each other, warm up with each other, we do everything with each other. And then like every time we have team meetings, we make sure that we familiarize the concept of this is a team thing. Even though we do individual events, each person scores so the team can win. And I think we feed off that energy, being able to help each other, support each other. Now the team moves on to the outdoor season, where they will hope to carry over and build on yet another successful indoor season. They've had no trouble doing that in the past, seeking their fourth straight CCIW outdoor title. This, this is a prestige program, so we want to keep that same energy up year in and year out with a new team, with new recruits, and just being able to build off that every day in practice. But personally for me, being uh, All-American, going to Nationals, I'm just building off that to help my team and bring more people with me to Nationals so I'm not there alone. You're constantly building, recruiting, and trying to you know, build that culture from one year to the next, so it just you know, keeps on going. And you, you can only control what we can do. You know, if, if another team has better athletes or they perform better, then you're not going to win. And uh, you have to live with those, uh, those results. And we just want to be the best we can be. And if it means winning, great. If it's second, great. You look in the mirror and you say, I did the best I could today.